hey guys welcome back to my channel if you guys want to see how i created this christmas makeup look then keep on watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe first i'm going to be priming my face with the Too faced hangover primer and this primer is so good it's actually one of my favorites on top of that i'm going to be using my milk blur stick i'm going to be using my fenty beauty foundation in the shade 350 and i'm just going to dot this on my face and then blend with my real techniques beauty sponge and this is weird for me because I never do foundation first, like ever. I'm always doing my eyebrows and then my eyes and then foundation. But I kind of did it just to see like how it would feel, you know, like just to try it. Now I'm going to use my Maybelline Instate Age Rewind Concealer in golden. And then on top of that, since I like a bright under eye, I'm going to go in with the same concealer just in medium. I'm gonna take this fake ass beauty sponge and bake using my Laura Mercier translucent powder. And I'm saying it's fake because it feels like rubber and it doesn't absorb any water. Like what type of beauty sponge is this? And I got it from TJ Maxx, like really bro. I'm gonna set my whole face using my Real Techniques powder brush. And I'm gonna set my face using the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Skin Transforming Powder in 70. I'm just going to contour using my Cosmopolitan brush and I'm going to contour using my Pixi highlight and contour palette and I'm going to be taking the darkest shade there is. I'm going to blush my face using my Nika K blush palette and I'm going to be taking the pinkest shade like the darkest pink on the palette. I'm just gonna bake under my contour with the fake sponge and this is the Laura Mercier translucent powder and I'm just gonna use that to cut my contour. I'm gonna be priming my eyes using the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Amplifying Eye Primer. I'm just gonna blend that in with my finger. Using the Morphe and James Charles palette, I'm gonna go in with the shade Social Blade and I'm just gonna pack it on first and then blend it using my Morphe M532 brush. From the same palette, I'm gonna be taking the shade Daddy and I'm gonna use my Morphe and Jaclyn Hill JH32 brush. And at the end, I'm gonna kinda of wing it out. And I'm only using this palette, so I'll be taking the shade Spooky on my Morphe and Jaclyn Hill JH40 brush. And I'm also going to wing out that shade. And most times, black eyeshadows are very hard and tricky to work with, so you want to take your time and blend. To further blend, I'm going to be taking the shade Daddy on a Morphe and Jaclyn Hill JH32 brush. Now to give this cut crease more definition, I'm going to be taking the shade Spooky on a JH40 brush. Now I'll be cutting my crease using my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Light Neutral with my angled brush and it doesn't have a name. And when you're cutting your crease, feel free to take your time. Don't rush because then it's not going to come out nice. So just take your time and I'm just going to wing it out and do like a wing with the concealer. On my Morphe and Jaclyn Hill JH42 brush, I'm going to be taking this Pure Pigment Eye Dust from Jessie's Girl in the shade Rogue Flamby, I don't know. And I got a little bit of fallout from my inner corners, so I just baked that real quick with the fake beauty sponge. And while doing that, I was like, might as well just bake the sides of my nose, right? So I just did that. 
with my Laura Mercier powder. I'm just gonna continue packing that pigment eye dust everywhere I cut my crease. I'm gonna take my liquid eyeliner, it's silver by Kiss, and the name rubbed off, so I don't know the name. I'm gonna see if I can search up the name of this eyeliner, and if I do, it'll be in the description box below. I'm just gonna put this glitter liner everywhere that I cut my crease, even under it too. And I did do a few coats just so it can be really pigmented and bright. I'm going to take my e.l.f. blush brush and just dust off that bake. On my Morphe and Jaclyn Hill JH43 brush, I'm just going to be taking the shades Social Blade, Daddy, and Spooky and just blend that all together. I'm using my Black Radiance Fine Line Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner Pen and I was trying to do a teardrop but I don't know what went wrong. I just did something it ended up looking like slime. I kind of liked it and I'm sorry you can't really like see it very well. Like I was so focused because I really didn't want to mess this up. This was my first time trying this. Even though I kind of messed up with the white. And I tried cleaning it up, but that's why you see it there. Now with the same eyeliner pen, I'm just going to draw an upside down candy cane, like the outline of it. Now I'm going to use my eyeliner brush, and it's from MSQ, it doesn't have a name. I'm going to be taking the Wet n Wild paint pot in white, and I'm just going to draw like the stripes of the candy cane, and I'm going to do it on the other side too. And I just took my time with this, and I went over with another layer because I want it to be, you know, really white for me. Now with the same brush, I just cleaned it and I took my Too Faced lipstick in He's With Me and it's just this really bright, nice red and I just put red in between the white lines to give it that candy cane effect, you know? And I just, I put the lipstick in the back of my hand so I was just taking it with the brush I was just going back and forth with that and just lining it and I did the same thing that I did with the white I did two layers on top, just so it can be really pigmented. And I just did the same with the other side.
Then I used the same eyeliner pen and I just outlined it again because I feel like I kind of like drew outside the lines. So I just covered it with the black. And I just blushed my face again and I used the same blush with the same brush. And I used this drugstore highlighter. This is called the Physician's Formula Butter Highlighter in Champagne. I highlighted using my Morphe M510 brush and I wanted to look really glowy so I used a lot of highlight. For my mascara, I used my MAC Pro Beyond Twisted Lash Mascara. Now for my lips, I'm going to line my lips using my lip pencil in the shade Chestnut. Now I'm going to use my little MAC matte lipstick in the shade Femme Only. Hey, you guys are so lucky that I applied my lashes on camera. Like, I was trying so hard. And these are my eBay lashes. I love these lashes so much. They're so pretty. I couldn't find my tweezers, so I used my Kush. Kush. <laughs> Kiss eyelash clamper and then I just clamp them together with my fingers because I think it's easier like that. And I use the Kiss strip lash adhesive glue with aloe vera. Then I used my Dream Glow baked highlighter palette by Essentials and I took the top left shade and I just pop that on my inner corners and on my brow bone. You guys this is the final look i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel thank you guys so much for watching and see you guys next time